It's Stoner Sashbox. I'm Stoner. There's Harry. There's Moose. I'm doing a video video because I ordered some stuff from Discogs. Uh, I think it was on the 17th. I think it was. Something like that. Uh, whenever it was. Early in the week. Like, over last weekend. And I got them today. Three CDs. It's about my dirty hands, but you know. Good enough work not too long ago. Uh, three CDs and one album. The album is somewhat a, of a um, grail for me. Uh, and I'll explain why it's a grail. Um, three of the CDs are bands that I really like. Why get stuff I don't like? Makes sense to me. Uh, but I got these, uh, like I say, on Discogs from uh, the vendor... Philadelphia Music, great guys, man. I've I've, uh, I've bought them from them several times. It's actually, to, to be honest with you, they are the only place that I go to to buy stuff. Mainly, you know, when I go to buy CDs and stuff, they are the main place I go. Uh, not because they're fairly close, which is like a bonus, but because they, when they grade things, they grade them right. Uh, they pack them right, and I have never, ever had a problem with them. They're great. But, I shall show you what I got. Uh, this is a band called the Screaming Cheetah Wheelies. Uh, the name of the album is Big Wheel. It's a promo. Uh, I've only heard one track on this. It's called um, Boogie King. And believe me, man, it's freaking dynamite. It's an amazing song. It rocks. It rocks. It smokes. It's just incredible. Incredible tune. And yes, I'm buying CD because I heard one song. Sometimes you get burnt. You can tell it's starting to get warmer outside. The bikes are out. I'm not redoing the video, man. This is like the fifth, sixth time I did a video. I'm not redoing it again. Get used to it. I live on a main drag. There you go. And I live in town. So, But, yeah. Screaming cheetah, cheetah wheelies. Maybe they'll do a screaming cheetah wheelies on their motorcycles. Who knows? Who cares? Next is a CD by uh, a guitarist that I admire greatly. Uh, I happen to think he's one of the best guitarists, living guitarists around. Um, and there's no denying. It's Warren Haynes. Live at Bonnaroo. All acoustic. Live album by Warren Haynes. The man is incredible. I mean, I have to say, I don't have to say, I'm going to say. Um, Joe Bonamassa, and I've seen Joe Bonamassa with, um, playing with Warren Haynes. Bonamassa is really good. I'm not going to deny that. He's good. Hell of a guitarist. But when I saw the video of these two guys on stage together, Bonamassa was just doing, doing, doing his usual blah, 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 you know, and showing off and stuff. And, uh, and there were some cheers. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then Warren gets his turn. In my humble opinion, and <laughs> Warren Bloom away, he's an amazing guitarist. This guy can play anything, anything. Country, uh, he can play, like I say, acoustic, um, hard rock, prog rock. I've even heard, and I've seen, well, I haven't heard, I've seen the video 
of him and his band Government Mule play War Pigs. Just, I am a hard, I don't always say hardcore, but I'm not. I've been a Sabbath fan since 1971. I mean, we, they had been my favorite band for decades and decades and decades. And they're still one of my very favorite bands. And it blew me away. He's so freaking good, man. War hangs. I even, you know, he, for those who don't know, some of you do, he used to be in an um, Almond Brothers band. Playing lead guitar and you know rhythm guitar and stuff but mainly lead guitar um and then he wanted as a little side project for himself because he you know had things going on in his mind you know he's just he's a talented dude and um so he started government mule and that took off so there you go government mule warren haynes amazing guy next up I just showed you the other day um, an album my got is of ECLT. Um, Irish Tour Live, Roy Gallagher. Well, I picked this up before you got that. Well, I ordered it. Fresh Evidence, Roy Gallagher. It's from 1990. The first track, which is Kid Gloves. Very, it, it kicks butt. It's all good. Uh, it's got King of Zydeco, uh, middle name Alexis, which is a, an acoustic um, version, an instrumental. Guitar State Blues, uh, Ghost Blues, but there's a track. It's called Heaven's Gate. I've heard Roy play solos before blistering solos but this solo on, on heaven's gate i i listened i listened to this today in the car and it just my mind just went wow man i've never heard him play like that before it, it's just you get a chance uh here on youtube go um look up heaven's gate war gallagher self-evidence and listen to the guitar solo oh my god i would just blow away i love that cd i i'd never heard any of these songs off of it until today and i'm glad i bought the thing next is an album i bought uh it was cheap because that's not a gatefold the glue came off, which is no big deal. With a bead of Elmer's glue here, here, put a weight on the jacket, and it's good as new. That's Puff, Spooky Tooth. Uh, featuring Mike Harrison, I should have known that. This has uh, Chris Staten on it. And some of you who are not, who don't know who he is, Chris Staten. Um, not only one of Joe Cocker's best friends, uh, but he is also the keyboardist and uh, fellow songwriter with Joe Cocker. Uh, he's on here, and Chris Staten is. Uh, it's from 1970. Um, but they do a song called Something to Say, which was written by Joe Cocker. And Joe didn't really uh, record it and put it out until 1973, 74, or something like that. And, um, the album was called Something to Say. Uh, but anyway, I digress. Uh, the songs on here is I Am the Walrus, uh, The Wrong Time, Something to Say, uh, Nobody there at all. Uh, Down River. 
Son of the Father, and The Last Puff, which is the title track, which is written by Chris Staten, and it's an instrumental. It's pretty cool. Now, why is this a grill for me? Besides being a Spooky Tooth album, um, back in 72, something like that, uh, I was given a, a painting uh, from a friend of my mother's. Uh, she didn't do it. Uh, so that she knew did it on the back of a sheet of uh, paneling, wood paneling. Back when they used to make paneling out of real wood. Uh, this was done on it. And I had that thing for years and years and years, and I had no idea what happened to it. But uh, This only cost me a few bucks. I think maybe five at the most. Um, I mean, it's a little dirty. You can see it or not. But, you know what takes care of that, don't you? Pinky racer. The pinky racer just... It takes it to a while sometimes. But you gotta be careful on the colors. It's great on the whites. It gets all the dirt. That's basically all that is. It's just the dirt. There's no ring wear at all in this thing. And this is on the green and in label labels. So. Yeah, that's puff. Now there I am with Morris. This is pretty cool. It, I've heard it before. Uh, something to say. I listened to it um, streaming. It was, it was it was good. I'm kind of partial to Joe Cocker's version, but um, that's me. I'm prejudiced. But anyway, let's puff. Okay, that's it for now. Maybe I'll have another video this weekend. Yay! A video on a Twitter about me having a video this week. It's been a long freaking week, man. Uh, a lot of good things happened. I got a VCLT. I'm done. Uh, I got these today. Uh, I had maybe one or two days this week. Maybe one. <clears throat> it was actually a good day at work. Which doesn't happen that often. Uh, the weather is a little chilly. But it's starting to warm up. You know, it's not in the teens. And it's not in the 20s. So, that's something good, man. You know? Well, until next we meet again. Oh, wait a minute. Never mind. Threw that down here. <laughs> I was going to show you something, but I found I have a thing about your artwork on liquid death boxes. Um, I've got one right here, right, right up here. You can't get it, see it, see it right now. Yeah, that one. And uh, I gave one to the old goat. And he's got his background sitting over there. Um, but I <laughs> I found some new ones the other day. Three new ones. And I thought, thought I had them down here. But I went to go and get them. And as I was going to get them, I realized that I have them upstairs. See what happens when you get old, man? Oh, well. Well, I'll tell you what, man. I'll see you guys later. And you take care. Have a good weekend if I don't see you. And peace from me, Harry. Harry Crawford. I don't blame you. Yeah, I think I need to get this off. There we go. Totally unscripted. Harry. Sleeping Harry. There's Moose. There's Stoner. There's my coat head soup falling down. 
We'll see you later.